What up, ding dongs? My name's Steve, coming at you not live via not satellite for the TF Nation Tele Convention 2020. Just because there's COVID doesn't mean there should be no vid. Sounded better in my head. And among a galaxy of stars joining us on the stream is a very special guest indeed. One of my personal heroes, the strapping young lad himself, prog icon Devin Townsend is here. My God, I'm such a fan. What's he even doing at a Transformer thing? What? Townsend Coleman. Right. Yes. Yes, that does make more sense. And because TF Nation has grown into something of an ongoing animated after party, what do you say let's go Mentinal for Sentinel? Now, the name Sentinel Prime has kind of taken on a bit of a curse across the TF multiverse, a sort of general unpleasant man association. And to be fair, this blue bragger is far from the worst of them. Like, he's not as detestable as the treacherous Michael Bay Ironhide murderer or IDW's tedious heavy-handed fascist. He's honestly just a bit of a dickhead. I mean, sure, he's an arrogant, self-aggrandizing, narcissistic, bloviating douche gasket, but he is at least fun and fallible and constantly getting dunked on. <laughs> can't despise him. He's a panto villain. Boo this man. Boo. And maybe if season four had come through, he could have made an interesting cautionary tale about what happens when a self-serving populist charlatan blags his way into a position of power. Because that never happens in the real world. So this is Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Sentinel Prime. And the first thing anyone ever says about it is, oh, why isn't it bigger? Why aren't you bigger? And while yes, he does look pretty daft alongside Optimus's aberrantly enormous Voyager figure, he's still a meaty deluxe. Deluxe. Animated has some units, man. The deluxes are all either hella tall or heckingly hefty, and Sentinel somehow manages to be both at once by top-loading all his beef right in your eye line, like a manic mesomorph manlet. Check out these shoulders, they're like six tires thick, more like horizontal prime. And isn't that chest plate so perfect? It's pure Derek J decadence. Love the cheeky warped vehicle frontage and glorious winged elite guard badge set against his deeply gorgeous blue brick bod. Honestly, I I wasn't sure about the enormous orange shoulder shields at first. I felt like they just got in the way, but God, he'd look so plain without them. And they actually totally play into the whole delusional military grasping glory hog look. Heads a curious kidney bean with cheeky antennas and like a recessed face that sort of gives the impression he might not actually be blue, almost like he's wrapped in a blue body stocking, which I'm sure you'll know is all part of an extremely unsubtle nod to Andy Townsend. Townsend Coleman's legendary role as The Tick. Spooning! Right, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it, is it good? Certainly sporting a robust chin, which isn't exactly weird among the Transformers chinimated scene, but this is truly the chin of all chins. Like, it's so proud and pronounced with like a special viewing window for the butt cleft, and the face itself with its untrustworthy eyes and petulant sneer definitely gives us that extreme expressiveness that only animated could pull off. You promised you wouldn't laugh! Anyway, old Sentinel Soup is serving some seriously stacked arms with enormous and surprisingly well-defined fingers. Come on, Potemkin! Along with shoulder rotators so seismically gnarly, they practically unplug the entire assembly with every massive click. All of which brawny bodybuilder bigness comes in striking contrast to his tiny ass hips, tiny ass thighs, and tiny ass... Your boy definitely skipped leg day! <laughs> Is that still a funny internet thing? Cash me outside! Ah, uh, bacon. Weapons are mighty unusual, with a lance and shield combo that complements his chivalrous pretensions and looks gloriously goofy in all spark blue, like toys within toys. Posing's okay, but patchy. Like, there's no radial humorous motion, but he's packing a beastly uppercut and limber hip balls. Limb balls. But no waist and nothing below the knees. You'd think Sentinel Prime of all people could pull off a... Heel turn. So all told, I guess he cuts an impressive enough figure. Possibly born into the wrong size class, but making it work. But for all the good that's going on, it is kind of offset by what's going on around the back. Why, yes, that is the entire front chunk of a whole ass truck. Oh no, it's all a ruse, a put on, a fake -a I knew he was sketchy. <laughs> Transformation's excellent fun, and it's actually mad clever. The shoulder structures swoop around the entire torso on these broad beams. The feet split in half vertically to form the rear and the roof, and they even kind of slide in behind the actual windscreen. 
God, I love animated. It does feel a bit of an incomplete process, though. Like, the head just kind of tips back a bit and leaves him with a serious case of V-mom. That's uh, visible most of me. Hello. But even so, Sentinel still redistributes his not inconsiderable mass into a rare snowplow mode. Check out this muscle mobile. It's all cartoony angles and tonka chonk. Love the tinted windows and the square bullish nose. Tires are just chomping the road. And I'm feeling the cheeky doors with the play in the paws. He's also got some of the weirdest weapon storage I've ever seen. Look at this, you're meant to like thread the lance through the shield handle and then insert it into the back so that it sits on top. It's pretty clever, I guess, and super unusual, but it just looks so daft. Like, a lot of the fun of the animated weapons is that they disappear into the disguises. But of course Mr. Important over here wouldn't bother with that, would he? He's just like, yeah, guess what? Elite guard, move aside. What do you think the shovel's for? This is not a man who's above pushing. But as a vehicle mode, it does feel very prime. Like, it seems to speak volumes about what makes him and Optimus such different guys. Because it's still a truck. It's still a service vehicle, kind of. But it's less help and more headstrong. Just a brute force battering ram of a man. Pure unhealthy ambition and unchecked ego perfectly expressed through a fierce fistful of plastic. I mean, is it perfect? No. Is it even top five animated figures? Also no. But it's the only one of this guy and there ain't nobody else like him. Just your jacked up jerk off mate you love to love to hate. So big ups to TF Nation for having me on in whatever capacity this ends up. Huge love to Toifu for helping me source this big burk. Mad respect to Mr. Coleman's must Townsend, just enjoy the rest of the show, yeah? My name's Theo, and I approve this message. Okay, welcome back. Hope you managed to catch that live. That was loads of fun. Big love to uh, Travis the Virus. Excellent screen name. And indeed to all the patrons. This list will be well out of date by now. I'm filming this in June. Bad love. See you later. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's awesome Transformers reviews. Robocentric vocabulasm. Yeah? Well, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs>